Okay, welcome to a shadow hit boxing session. Okay, we do um, in our boot camp series, and you get the chance now to do this at home and uh, work along to it. Okay, so we're going to go through some lots of different um, boxing uh, punches and, and also some kicks to bring out some fun combinations we can use. And they're very good for getting you working out, but they're also good fun as well. So I hope you enjoy it. Good luck. Remember, make sure you've got a drink with you. Uh, we'll need a mat for later and uh, just all the enthusiasm you can muster. And here we go. Okay, let's start making sure we're in the right stance. You've got your feet shoulder width apart. You're going to step your right foot back 45 degrees from the other foot um, and you're going to spin your foot to 45 degrees. Okay, we're doing things in a orthodox stance at the moment. You're more than welcome to be in south four. Um, we want to make sure the knees are slightly bent. Okay, and your guard in place. So you can bring the guard up, the back end, cheekbone, front hand just in front. Okay, from there, we're gonna start our warm up, okay? So what we're gonna do first of all, is just a punch and rotate, just to get the body moving. We don't actually do this when we are punching in our combinations, the left foot, like that. But just for warm up purposes, we're gonna be doing it now. That's it, just focus on real straight punches, nothing coming out the side. It's all going straight forward, that's it. Get a nice twist in your body, really feel yourself warming up. Feel that core working, rotating. That's it, and we're just do a little shuffle now. And a punch to the side. And again, shuffle this side, and a punch that side. Breathe out on every punch. Good. For the heart rate starting to build. Okay, so boxing can be loads of fun, but it's certainly hard work. The two combined helps us to really focus and stay with our training. It's why boxing is such a good form of exercise. Okay, good. Okay, now we're gonna do our rock backs, which is make the uh, warm up a little bit more energetic now, as we start to build towards the start. So, what we do is just a small book bounces forward and back with our feet. Okay, while well, we're just hitting punches with the forward moving foot. Don't worry if you don't get it right. Just getting them legs and arms moving is the most important thing right now. And rest. That's it, just flick the feet out. And again, ready? Ten more seconds. And then we're good to go. Good. Okay, we're going to learn the first um, combination today, and that is we're going to get our stance. We're going to be doing this about face and side on, so you can see exactly how the feet do. Okay, you got a left jab and step, bring your right foot in, and then step again and jab with the left, and then you go up, 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 slip to your right hand side, so the weight's on the right leg. Okay, and your foot with your right, and your with your left. Okay, front view. Jab with the step, set the back foot in, jab again with the step, keep your feet there. As you go, uppercut, slip to your right, weights here, hook to the right, uppercut to the left, and step in from there. We're going to be moving around. Okay, just your choice of direction, just keep your feet apart. You see how I'm doing that? Just always keep that nice distance apart. Like you're always going to swear if you stop, you're in a good stance as a boxer. Okay.
was that? Okay. Right, so I take a drink and then we show you round three, which is much more only boxing. I'm trying to really work on the speed element of this one. Okay, go something like this. So you've got upper cuts twice with the right hand. Okay. Then you've got hook with the left, straight right, overhand, up to down, hook with your left. Go with me as the round's about to start. Two uppers, use that back foot, hook left, straight, overhead slam. Go! One, two, hook, straight, slam hook. One, two uppercuts. Can you get that speed now? Okay, so we're on to the uh, superset rounds. We're going to use the mostly chest and front of the shoulders in this next round. Uh, a little bit of a break with the legs on the second round, which will be with the back muscles. So upper body front, upper body back is generally where we're trying to work on these two rounds. Okay, so we're starting off. Get yourself down. Have a drink if you haven't had one already. Okay, so we're to the mat. Hands as wide as the mat, just over shoulder widths apart. Press and raise the arm. Press up extensions. You ready? Here we go. Go. 10 of these. Followed by 40 mountain climbs. I'll do your rhythm. That's five. Six. Seven. Try and go with my pace if you can. Eight. Take extra recovery if you need it though. You can't quite do the ten. Nine. Of course, I haven't shown you the full version as well. Ten. Okay. All right, from there, 40 mountain climbers. Are you ready? Showing you next one, you can join in with this one when you're ready. You've done your 40. Five sets of jabs, hooks, and uppercuts. That means two, 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 two. That's one set, five of them. Two. That's three done. And join in when you finish your 40 minutes. Back to the press ups, let's go. Oh. How 
haven't got much time left. Last few. Okay, well done. Good. Excellent. So next round is what we call uh, the black, black widow raises are the next exercise we're gonna do here, okay? How we do these is we raise up like this with our chest, and we drop the chest down and raise up. We hold and use the back muscles to get, get us into that position. So across the shoulder blades. So if we get ready, we'll start with these. Ready, steady. Goes, arms down the floor, push your whole back off, squeeze your shoulder blades. That's it, feel that right across the middle of your back, into your upper back. Okay. Using our lats, our rhomboids, and our rear delts, and our lower traps to get us into that position. That's it, three to go. That's it, two more, come on. One more. Next one. Supine hops. One leg in the air, you hop onto the other one, 40 reps. Or if you need to do standing steppy ones, just do 20 of those. Drop open chest. Proud, looking up. Five, six, seven, nine, 30. One, four, six, seven, eight. Multi. Okay, next exercise. Front kick, jump in position. Front kick and jump, come with me, let's go. Four, five, if you're just finishing off them supine hops, that's fine too, you just watch this and know what you're doing next. Eight, nine, and 10, good. Straight back to your black widow raises again. Remember those of you who want the challenge, who want that half hour workout, repeat this workout once these are done. Once this round is done, I should say. All right, five more, come on. Six, let's see if we can get them. Supine hops again, seven, eight, nine, 10. Can we get there before the clock goes? All right, that was the clock. We're gonna do 40 of these to finish. That's the type of guy I am. You ready? Here we go. One, four. Let's really go. Go on. Eight. Finishing start. Go on. 12, 13, 14, 15, 17, 18, 19, 20, 2, 4, 5, 8, 9, 30, 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40. Woo. Good. Okay. So there we have it. A full on shadow hit. Boxing session. Thanks for tuning in and uh, please put your likes and your comments below and subscribe uh, so you don't miss out on the next video. Thank you for coming along. Till next time, see ya.